Hello guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to American Truck Simulator and we've actually started streaming out, it's, I'm doing it properly because I'm an idiot and I forget to set everything up but we're doing a nice relaxing stream and we're going uh, on American Truck Simulator and we're using the new New Mexico DLC, god that's a weird one to say isn't it, new New Mexico um, I've just bought this game, I've done one trip, just it's basically the tutorial and I suppose there's not much left to do. I want to show you my mods first of all. So these are the mods I'm using. Most of them are by Jazzy Cat. Uh, there's a few. There's one by Piver, which is the uh, train simulator mod. We got Slav Slavsan 93's uh, realistic roads and dog faces, <laughs> oversized load pack uh, placard and signs. That's pretty much all there is to show you in the mod manager. So yes, I want to exit out of there. And let's continue the game, I suppose. That's a lovely picture of, I think that's San Francisco. Uh, I believe that's San Francisco. I'm not entirely sure. So let's pop onto the world map. We are currently in Roswell. Uh, we shouldn't be. We was in Almagordo. Alma Alamogordo? I assume that's how you say that. So yeah, this is where we are. We're in New Mexico. This is the brand new DLC that was released. Uh... Before that was this here, which is, not, that's not Arizona, that is, God, my, my thing's gone blank, give me a sec, I can't even remember what state that is, screw it, you know what it is, Arizona, that's the one, Jesus Christ, my mind went absolutely blank then, and there's the ones that came with the game, we got California over here, and this state here, which is, uh, do you know why? My geography has got absolutely crap today. I don't even know why. It's uh, Nevada. Nevada, that's the one I couldn't think of. Right, let's go for a quick job, I reckon. Uh, something preferably from Roswell. Where are we going to go? We haven't unlocked any other towns other than Almogordo and Roswell. So, let's take... We haven't got our own truck yet, so we'll use the one provided. Let's go for... Roswell, I want to go somewhere fairly far. Where's Clovis? Mm, that's not really. What about Hobbs? That's even closer. Almogordo, I've been to. I don't want to go there. What about Santa Fe? That might be a fun journey. Up north to Santa Fe. So, empty pallets. We're going to take... It's not the best paying job, but we're going to take £27,000 of... Actually, is there a better priced one, really? I oh, know, I'm not really sure on that one. Tucumcari, where's that? Ooh, that could be a fun journey. Al Albuquerque, Tucumcari, Albuquerque. Where's Albuquerque? Ooh. And we could discover a town on the way. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to take £35,500 of dry fruit up to uh, Albuquerque from Roswell. Uh, offer expires in 12 minutes, don't really care about that. And we'll get $4,729 for that. So let's take that job. And when it loads. That's a lovely picture. I've got my uh, graphics on Ultra. And what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. I can't remember though. <laughs> this is going well. That is a really nice picture. Right, here's our truck. Let's go outside view. Already coupled up for us because we haven't got our own truck. So we don't have to pick up the trailer. And I am just going to turn down my audio a touch. One, two, three notches, I think. Without if I put the truck in gear. Right, we're going to do this. We're going to turn off all of our aids. We're just going to use the sat-nav in the truck. So let's get going. I've, I've actually set everything up for this stream. Usually I don't. It has been a little bit laggy on the frame rate, I think. But hopefully that will change. If not, I'll just turn something down. I've got exciting news for you, for you guys, uh, and it actually affects the frame rates and all. Basically, my processor is not the best, and I'm getting a lot of dropped frames. So give me one sec to fix that. I know why it is. So uh, oh, I'm gonna have to stop streaming. Right, that should have fixed that now. Right, that's all fixed. Uh, the reason was because it was in uh, 1080p by accident. 
but no worries so we're back on the road now and what was my exciting news god that was anticlimactic I got, I got exciting news then I stopped the stream now basically at the moment I'm using the world's worst motherboard and my processor is not much better than the world's worst processor it's an i5 but it's like the second generation low end one it's a uh, 2400 so I've ordered on Black Friday off eBuyer an Intel i7 7700K processor that's like 4 gigahertz and I've also got a new hard drive which will give my games more stability because the hard drive I'm using is absolute rubbish and finally I've ordered a new motherboard which is absolutely awesome so yeah from well it's not in yet it'll be sort of next two weeks it'll be get going in and arriving and that will be pretty damn good oh I need to stop there I uh, didn't quite make that oh, indicator roads clear left clear right and let's go for it I'm actually going to use indicators I'm going to keep this as legit as I can Ooh, that's a nice truck dominoes that's one of the mods by Jazzy Cat, I believe. Right, we're going right here, so I need indicator. Is he going to let me go? That police car is not, because he's not very nice. Uh, truck, I'm going to pull him behind this truck here. Taking it nice and wide. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. I don't know how close that truck is to me. Pretty flipping close. Wow. I am glad I spotted that. But yeah, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Some of my controls will still be on the keyboard because obviously there's a very limited amount of buttons. I don't need indicator if it's a left lane. But I'm thinking this should be pretty better than keyboard, let's put it that way. More precise driving. Um, regarding my driving, uh, as far as it goes in real life, my driving, I've done two lessons and I ragged my brother's car around three years ago and nearly crashed into a boulder. So I'm not an expert driver. I've got my gearbox set to automatic. That was a yellow light. That should be okay. Um, yeah, automatic. So it's a basic or it's not a basic automatic. It's a real automatic. So I still have to select um, neutral and all that nonsense. But I should be okay. I'm going to try my best not to kill every single person that ever lived. And we're going to go on a lovely trip to, where did I say we was going? S Albuquerque. I am totally speeding. What's the speed limit? 35. Oh, it's just gone up to 55. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> That's probably something I should know. Albuquerque. That's the one. F. Ah, crap. I didn't mean to press that. As I said, I am an amateur. New game. All that. Uh, off my mouse. F3 to get rid of that. Not F4. And let's just go on a nice, relaxing journey. I think that would be best. What I probably should have done is move my OBS away from my chat because now I can't see anything that's happening. Right, let's slow down for this. Nice, steady. Uh, I probably could have slowed down a little bit less than that. I'm going to try and keep my driving smooth and as legit as possible. But, as I said, I'm not a driver in real life. I've done two lessons, and I almost crashed. <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> it's going absolutely brilliantly. Anyways, uh, should we... I think we should have a little bit of a quick look at the route, if I can. I've reassigned a lot of the buttons, so I'm not sure if there's another way. But So we're going to pick up Socorro on the way. We're going to be going along the 380. Uh, I've already gone along the 380 as far as there, and then I went down to Al Alamogordo. God, that's a tricky one to say. We'll be going through Socorro. Is there anything I could pick up in Socorro? Uh, any discoverables, anything like that? Do they still have that in American truck? I know they had it in Euro truck. And then we're stopping at Albuquerque's Rail Export. And then I think we'll take another journey, because I want to go through Spaghetti Junction here. And we could go Santa Fe, we could go Farmington, Raton, Gallup, maybe, Tucumcari. We could even start going, uh, what's this, west? I don't know, I reckon, I want to make it quite far across the map today. I reckon we should end up in California or something. Anyway, 
Uh, let's get out of this and continue our journey. It's 194 miles and it should take three hours in game time. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. And drive. Just a nice relaxing trip across New Mexico. From what I've seen of New Mexico, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. And oh, really? <laughs> Okay, I find the bug with this game is pretty unusual, but basically, if I scroll, it scrolls on the um, web page I have open next to it so I can check the chat and everything. That's unusual, I've never come across that before, but I've just fixed that. So, note to self, don't use the scroll wheel much. That is an odd one though, I've never experienced that in a game. Yeah, that, that is pretty weird. Anyway, I think everything should be sorted now. We should have a lovely, long, nice, relaxing stream. And, of course, this is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel later. And if you guys want to see my YouTube channel... Well, if you want to... Basically, I've got commands. If you type in the chat, exclamation mark commands, a load of commands will pop up and you can use them to find out about me, to, to get links to my channels and all that. Uh, you can see my mods, but it's only updated for Grand Theft Auto at the moment. But yeah, this I've set up my night bar. I took quite a lot of time doing that, and I don't think anyone's used it so far except me. So that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> but, meh. One thing that is good, definitely changed about my uh, videos though. My microphone, I did mention this in my last stream, but I don't know if any of you caught this. I've got a new microphone, I've got a, a Trust GXT363 uh, 7.1 vibration sound, that's quite a mouthful, but they're pretty good headphones, they pick up my voice better than the Razer Krakens I had, so I'm, I'll happily use them again, I'm just going to press I so I can see my speed on dashboard 63, less, less engaged cruise control I think, and the speed limit's just gone down to 45, we need to be in this lane, that was absolutely reckless of me. We need to be in this lane. We're taking the 380. There is a historical site around this corner. I might just stop off there. You can see the historical site uh, sign. Very similar to the historical site signs in the UK. Sort of brown with a white writing. Yeah, let's go in here. Just have a look. It was the Billy the Kid something or other. But you can drive in here, yeah? so I don't see why we can't have a quick look around. see if there's anything nice around here. <coughs> I believe I am driving the wrong way. The arrows on the sat nav are telling me that. Probably should have slowed down a bit more for that corner. Is that all it is? It's just a park. Really? That's it? Let's just have a quick outside view. I'm not too fond of this camera, the way it zooms in and out as you go along the truck. I don't think I like that very much. I'm not sure how to access photography mode either. The axis are inverted, so left is right, right is left. That's also something that's confusing me a little bit. That is a very nice um, thumbnail though. I do like that. I'm going to print screen that. Right, and let's get back on the road. So yeah, my aim today, nothing too exciting, I just want to have a nice relaxing drive, test new, see what New Mexico has to offer. Is he going to come this way? No he's not, that means I wasn't driving the wrong way, thank god. But yeah, I'm, instead of last, try, uh, last stream where we was playing shooting games, I just want a nice relaxing drive round. Come on, you're going to go? Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, for god's sake. So it's sometimes helpful, sometimes annoying when the AI does that. Just stops and lets you out because it depends where they stop. If they stop before the junction or in a direction you're not going, it's absolutely fine. But sometimes they'll stop and it's just like, dude, there is no way I can get a truck around that corner with you there. And you're left with nothing left to do other than to just smack them out of the way. So it can become pretty damn annoying. I do like this truck though, this Peterbilt. It's got a very nice interior. It is a not a mod, it's a truck that comes with the game, but it is very nice. Not sure what that thing in the windscreen is, but they're the W pass. 
that I'm not sure about, but this truck in, in a, on a whole is pretty damn nice. I do like it. I also, I'm loving the scenery. New Mexico, from what I've seen of it so far, bear in mind before this I only had Euro Truck Simulator, well I had one and two. One was absolute nonsense. But, um, yeah, it's um, pretty nice. Amer New Mexico, American Truck Simulator on a whole, it's pretty nice, I do like it. Speed limit is 55 long years, so at 53 I'm just going to enable cruise control because I happen to know from driving down this road 10 minutes ago, it's a very long straight road, not much really happens, all I have to do really is maintain the directional control, something I'm an expert at, as I saw on my driving test, I only went off the road three times, <laughs> I have high hopes for passing, at least there's traffic on this road. That's one thing where this does tear over something like um, Train Simulator 2017. It actually has AI traffic. The traffic's very reminiscent of like Grand Theft Auto V's, where it generally on a whole sticks to the road, but occasionally it just does something absolutely stupid. I've had a few times where, it, mainly on Euro Truck Simulator, it, has, it hasn't happened to me yet in this game, but I do have sometimes where you'll just, you'll be approaching the junction, there'll be a car in the turn lane coming towards you as if to turn across your path and it will just absolutely pull out in front of you leaving you nowhere to go, no stopping distance so your only option is to basically try and avoid it and minimise the impact but either way you can easily write off your truck doing that Right, I'm going to take manual control over the truck now because the speed limits are changing and we are, we're not turning off. This is where you turned off, where I turned off in my tutorial uh, mission. Let's try and make these lights. I know I'm speeding, but honestly, I don't care. I probably should check the fuel. Fuel's okay at the moment. We're speeding, but the speed limit's about to go up to 55, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just taking some of the New Mexico uh, scenery around here. Very barren New Mexico it appears. Very, very barren. I'm not sure if it's the type of place I'd want to live, but I don't know. I, if I was going to live somewhere, I'll tell you, my dream, if I ever win the lottery or become rich, I'm going to buy a little log cabin, like a modern one, but a log cabin nonetheless in the Rockies, in Canada, by a nice open lake, a few neighbours dotted around, and I'm going to have super fast Wi-Fi installed, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing, it's going to be my little kingdom, that, that is my dream. Uh, okay, I don't know how that happened, oh, I know. M is map. Haha, <laughs> that does kind of make sense. If I remember right, N is like navigational map or something. No, that's horn. This has the most bitchin' horn going. <laughs> meep meep. That is the most bitchin' horn. Meep meep, get out my way. I'm a truck. Just no, you want a big, deep, loud horn. Like a train horn from truck, don't you really? That's just a bit bitchy my liking. If I had a truck, I wouldn't have that horn. We are way speeding, but honestly, I just want to see how fast this thing goes. 78. Can we hit 90? That'll be a goal. Ooh, this is going to get stupidly dangerous. Last minute swerve. Oh my god, this steering's not what I thought it was. Okay, I'm being reckless. It's mad here. I just want to see how fast I can go. Oh my god, 84 down the shoulder on the dirt, 85. Oh, I, if I knew where the handbrake was, I'd totally do a handbrake turn now. No, mustn't. I just remembered this is a very serious stream. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah guys, this is going to be a relaxing stream. Does 84 down the hard shoulder into dirt. Yeah, that's how you do it. That is what truck drivers do in real life, I'm sure. I want to be a truck driver. After watching me play this game, you're probably going to be like, no, that's a, you're going to kill people. But genuinely, in real life, I wouldn't mind being a truck driver. 
like I work with trucks in in work because as of Sunday I've changed my role I've become a yard marshal so my job is to basically guide around cars vans and the occasional truck and I tell you one thing in work we have three types of drivers we have truck drivers which drive the big 40 ton Arctic trucks then we have the um, van drivers which work for professional companies they should be professional drivers you would imagine and we have the car drivers which just turn up and they're not exactly well trained and you would imagine that by a long way the worst drivers would be the, the car drivers no nope, not at all the truck drivers you point them where to go and they go there it's my job to do that they have to listen to me truck truck drivers uh, car drivers sorry you tell them where to go they go there no questions asked uh, truck drivers big 40 ton truck obviously you have to clear the way but you basically say right you're going to bay 4 and they'll go to bay 4 they'll do it no questions asked the worst by a very long way my indicator was on the wrong way then uh, come on mate really oh and then you're gonna fucking uh, then he stops I came to stop and then he stops to let me up like, what the hell but yeah anyway the truck drivers you tell them where to go they go there that's their job they're professional drivers they know what they're doing the van drivers which they have the most to lose they'll get fired if they don't listen to me they basically do what the hell they want and you tell them to do something they're like no like I'll give you an example my first day on the job I was with Tony who's an experienced yard marshal he's been doing it for 30 years he knows what he's doing he knows all the drivers and we have a system where basically you go down lanes they're one way and there's absolutely no reversing or anything like that and we was down to one lane it was our last lane and a van driver pulled it I told him right go down this lane go right to the end and what did he do he stopped in the very beginning so I went up to his window not his window I said excuse me sir can you go down to the end of this lane please he goes why I goes because we have other vans coming in and we're running low on room he goes no I go sir go down to the end he goes no it's raining I was like yeah it's raining for everyone I've been stood out in here for six hours I know it's raining he goes and I goes go down to the end I'm not asking you on tenure he goes ah oh, F you slam this horn down, put his foot on the accelerator, did 30 down this lane, this narrow lane with people walking round, speed limit 10 miles out, he just puts his foot down, slams on his brake at the end of the lane, gets out and goes, oh, F you, it's like, seriously dude, I'm just trying to do my job, like, honestly, van drivers are the worst, but I, I appreciate they have their job to do, they get paid for how much time they spend, like they get paid per pass or not per time they're there but my god they're ignorant like 30 seconds that's all it takes to listen to me and then we can get as many people in as we can but no and i'm speeding i'm gonna cross this lane i'm gonna cut that car off i really don't care but yeah honestly van drivers are the worst if it was just cars and trucks i had to deal with i would not have a problem i'd go to work do my job go home with a smile on my face Van drivers, no thanks. Well, it's not all of them, I admit. Like 80 to 90% of them are absolutely fine. You tell them to go there, they'll go there. But there's always that one that just makes your life hell. I did also learn a valuable lesson on my first day. I was stood behind a van, guiding another van to park behind it, telling him to come towards me. He was about 5 or 6 feet in front of me. I drifted my lanes a bit then. And I said to him, uh, I was telling him to come towards me, keep coming, keep coming. And about six feet in front of me, he stopped. Uh, I told him to stop, so he came to a stop. And he uh, stalled it. And I have never been so scared in my life. This van lurched forwards. And I swear to God, for a split second, I thought I was going to lose my legs. I blew that stop sign. I didn't realise how crap the brakes were. I thought he was going to hit me then. But yeah, I've never been so scared. This van missed me by about a foot, and I genuinely thought I was going to get crushed to death. <laughs> so I'm going to lose my legs. 
But fortunately, he managed to brake in time. Okay, there is a stop sign there for you, buddy. Really? Are you gonna go as well? You might as well. No, he's gonna let me go. No, he's not. Stop! Jesus Christ, it's like real life. Like, seriously. And now I've missed the lights because of that. What absolute a holes. Oh well, anyway, we're in Albuquerque. So the first leg of our trip is nearly done. How long have we got left? Like a mile, probably. Uh, it's not F3, it's F5. Yeah, one mile. <laughs> Nothing left, basically. Just waiting for these lights now. I probably missed them, didn't I? Did I miss them then? Of course, reversing is going to be fun. I've never reversed in real life, and I haven't played a truck game for probably coming up to two years, so I'm probably going to be rubbish at this. I was certainly rubbish in the tutorial. I had to drive over a piece of dirt to uh, park it, but I'm going to try my best. I like the, the way the uh, indicators are actually self-cancelling now. I remember in Euro Truck Simulator, there was a major bug where the indicators just would not self-cancel. But it appears they fixed that now, which is good. Pointless using cruise control, because, well, there's a big corner coming up. There's no one coming, but I'll let them know that I'm turning anyway. I really need to stop talking so fast because I've wasted everything I wanted to say nearly. <laughs> and we've only been going for 20 minutes, 25 minutes coming up. Anything coming? Yep. Yeah. I'm just turning. I'm just gonna forward very slowly. Like that's clear. Clear right there. Keeping on my mirrors. You can tell I've been doing driving lessons, can't you? Everything has to be correct, even though I kind of take people on the hard shoulder. I'm not actually that impatient, I would just like to uh, point out. I'm not an impatient person. I just like to get carried away. Come on. And there. Where do you need it? That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to guess here. Yeah, near enough. Nailed it. And we're rolling back. No, 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 no. Come on. I probably should have used the brake rather than the, the um, accelerator to stop me, but, you know. You only, <coughs> you only live once. Right, we're going by there. This should be a fun one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swing by here. And... I'm going to try and angle it so it's easier to reverse in. I'm going to try it on inside view, I think. Uh, I need to be still right. Take it nice and slow. I'm not going to say much because I'm trying to concentrate. Nice and slow. I'm not quite there, I don't think. I think I might hit that trailer if I keep doing it like this. Around. Yeah, I massively misjudged that. Right, let's try that again. So my steering not a one. Right. And let's start to bring it round now. I honestly don't think that was bad. Uh, no, I need to steer the other way. Uh, I didn't realise how angled the trailer was. Right, whoa, 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 
to the uh, left. It's hard judging where the middle is on the wheel. A little bit more. And we need to steer left, I believe. Yep. I don't think that was that bad. I've done worse, certainly. Perfect. I love that little crank handle there to lower the legs. That's genius. Two hours, ten minutes. We've got excellent. Uh, time taken, five hours, 14 minutes. Fuel consumed, 44.3 gallons. Nearly level two. We had no uh, detra detractions. Is that a word? I don't know. Detract I'm going to call it detractions. Uh, all bonuses. Perfect. Right. We got two emails. Need money? We can help. That's off the bank. Let's visit your local bank. Peter truck built for sale. We've discovered a, a, a Peter Buck. Peter. Peter built truck dealership. God, I really cannot talk sometimes. Right. Let's go for the job market. Let's go for a quick job. Select cargo to see route details. We are in, we're currently in Albuquerque, ain't we? We're in Albuquerque. I hope we're in Albuquerque. And we could go to Arizona. Yeah, we're going to take that. Actually, I really want that one. That's, actually, is that the lowest priced one? Yes, it is. That's not good. I think I took the lowest priced one last time as well. Whoops. Uh, no, that wasn't the lowest priced one. Wait, what? Ah, it's price per distance I was looking at. I thought that was price per distance. Right. Yeah, let's go to Flagstaff. Where's Carlsbad, actually? That's the other, yeah, that's down south. Um, what's that town there? Farmington. Is there anything to Farmington? Because I really want to go up through Santa Fe. Or, uh, no. Oh, uh, I've got someone in my chat. Hey, AJ958. Sorry, I didn't notice you there, buddy. I've been uh, looking over here. How long ago did you post that, if you're still there? Sorry, for some reason, Twitch, I think it's the beta thing. It doesn't really show me how many people are watching, or... it. Like, I can't even see the title at the bottom of my screen. I don't know if that's just me or what, but when I look at Twitch, I can see the stream, I can see my details, like my information above the top, but I cannot see a title, my view count says zero, and there's an edit button, so I have no idea. But if anyone's there, say hi in the chat so I can actually see if you're there, because as I said, Twitch is massively screwed. Right, anyway. Uh, Flagstaff, I really want to go up through Santa Fe, I want to go up to Farmington, is there anything to Farmington? I'm not sure, yeah, destination, and how do I actually choose the destination, do I click it? Oh, uh, no, that didn't really help. Uh, is it alphabetical? It's probably, al yeah, it looks alphabetical. Farmington, what's that? That is not very high paid, but um, even that doesn't really, is there anything to Santa Fe? I don't know. I really want to do that Flagstaff one. I got to be honest. That's eight grand. I can't really say no to that. Okay. I'm going to do Flagstaff and... Maybe later we can go back through Santa Fe. So I'm going to take that job. And if it ever decides to load. Right, uh, the trailer's automatically... Ooh, I didn't check what the thing was. I'm assuming some kind of concrete. Uh, concrete piles, yeah. That's cool. Uh, 
that is the map I like. Actually, I don't want the sat nav open. This is a very nice shot. It's a Kenworth. It looks like an older style Kenworth, but that's very nice. I, I keep forgetting the axis are inverted on my uh, thing. I know I can change that, but honestly, I'll just get used to it, I think. Phantom. Uh, okay, I can't change the camera at all now. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. God, that's weird. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I've been playing around way too much with stuff I shouldn't be playing around with. Right. Let's start the truck. If it ever... There we go. Uh, change my display. Speed and cruise control I want. We're going right out of here. I think this is the place we just dropped off. I doubt our trailer is there. I can't remember what the trailer looked like though saying that. Oh well. Let's go to... I've already forgotten where we're going to. Hey AJ958, I'm glad you're back. Uh, I did say something to you, but I'm guessing you popped out considering your comment was, Okay, I'm back. Thanks for stopping by. And we're driving, I don't know if you missed it, we're driving concrete piles. I'll show you the outside view there. These concrete piles, and they are going to... Uh, keep forgetting the controls. They're going to Flagstaff for 8350 bucks. So that's where we're going. Uh, let's go back inside the cab because I want to keep this as realistic as possible. We're going left here. I am going to try and remember to use my indicator at every junction where we need to. I love the fact they're self cancelling. I love that. That's cool. We don't have them in the UK. Those. Um, I don't even know what they're called. The big inflatable things like the XI car dealerships. We don't have them. It's a shame. They're quite cool. Oh, I'm sorry, my mum needed me for something. Oh, that's that's fine, AJ. No problem. Didn't really have to tell me that, but I appreciate it anyway. Uh, how's my audio, by the way? I tried to sort it out, but it's kind of hard to do it without um, streaming, so if my audio is something wrong with it, if you could let me know, that would be appreciated. We're not going to catch that green light up ahead. I doubt, anyway. I don't know, they might stay on for quite long in this game. We're turning left. We actually do need air indicator for this one. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Watch it start changing now. Yeah, I'm going. I'm not going to make it. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad the brakes are quite good on this truck. Oh, really? You're going in that lane? Do not hit my trailer. I will smack you. Uh, game freeze much. I've noticed that, you get lag spikes. It is okay, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Cheers, AJ. I just wanted to do an audio check. It's kind of hard to do it with um, without streaming or anything. Uh, don't need indicators, we're in the left turn lane. We're getting on the Interstate 25. I'll tell you what I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to have a look at the world map. And I'm going to see if there's anything we can pick up along the way. My game's been a little bit laggy, I do apologise for that. Uh, we're going through Gallop. Are there any discoverables in Gallop? Does this game have discoverables? I haven't seen any yet. No, I'm not sure it does, really. Why do you keep freezing, game? That's unusual. Haha, <laughs> I will smack you. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, Holbrook... Uh, we might discover Holbrook. I don't know. It does look like we're kind of going past it more than into it. And then Flagstaff, Arizona. And we're dropping off there to Plaster and Sons. Yeah, Plaster and Sons. That does sound like the type of company that would need concrete piles. Sorry, it just makes me giggle a little bit inside when I say piles. <laughs> That's just very immature like that. God, we are really struggling up this hill. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little bit meh. And I can't mute my microphone because M, which is the button to mute my microphone, also brings up the map. So that's annoying. Oh, come on, lag spikes. It's not that difficult. I'm wondering if it's my graphic ca graphics card or my processor that's causing it to... It could well be my motherboard. My, bo my motherboard used to have that problem. Good job I bought a new one. But my CPU is only at like 30% usage, so I don't know 
what's causing that, but it's really starting to get annoying. But that is really... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn down my graphics from ultra to high. That might help. Because I'm only streaming in 720 as it is, so it doesn't really need to be on ultra. So if I go on high... And... Please don't restart the game. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. And close that. Right, now... This should be a little bit better. That's the hope, at least. Albuquerque to Flagstaff. I'd love to drive that in real life. I'd love to go to America in real life. I've never been. I'd love to go there sometime. My life goal is to do a road trip across America. I've already planned the route, not down to the highway or anything, but I want to start in Boston, Massachusetts, drive down the coast to uh, New York and spend the day there, and then we're going to start going, uh, we're going to go to DC, and then we're going to start going west, and we're going to go up through Kentucky to um, Chicago in Illinois. And then we're going to go through Montana across the north of the United States, westbound. And we're going to go to Everett and Seattle in Washington. And then we're going to start going south. We're going to go along the coast, along all those coastal highways. And we're going to go San Francisco, LA. And then we're going to stop in, I don't know about San Diego. That is a little bit off the beaten track for us. So San Diego's a maybe. And then we're going to go across to Las Vegas and we're going to spend our last day uh, at the Grand Canyon before flying back from the Karen Airport. I think that's going to be awesome. The biggest question, do I buy a cheap car to do it or do I rent one, find a good rental company? I don't know. I don't even know when I'm going to do it. It's probably when I'm in my 30s or something. Like I'm only 19 at the moment, so I've still got a lot of years ahead of me to decide things like that. Spaghetti Junction, this is. I love these junctions, Spaghetti Junction and all things like that. I, don't, I just find them fascinating how they work out, like how they place all the roads so they go over each other and you have like five stories worth of roads. I just think it's really, really cool. We're now on the... what highway is this? I have no idea. Uh, we're on the... Forty, Interstate 40 and I was paying absolutely no attention to the road then oh, come on game stop freezing please it's very random I don't know if it's because it's loading stuff in I know what it is ah oh, that's a bitch my basically when I brought my computer I bought it off eBay as like a cheap gaming PC and my goal was to upgrade it as I go along and it came with one hard drive which was a one terabyte hard drive and it was recommissioned so it is like shockingly bad and it will just occasionally stop spinning for like a second I think that's what's causing it because now I don't use that as my primary hard drive that's my third one I've got one 500 gigabyte hard drive and an SSD for my operating system but of course I got like nine big games now so I can't put them all on 500 gigabyte hard drive and all my editing software and all that so I had to put this on my HDD my old one and that's what's caused it but fortunately as I mentioned earlier I have bought a new hard drive a two terabyte one Toshiba is quite a good one and hopefully problems like this one, for example, Jesus Christ, will be absolutely eliminated all over the world. Someone's been watching Jeff Fabiano. I think AJ, hint, hint, all over the world. Yeah, I, love, I do like Jeff Fabiano, I don't blame you, but... Oh, come on, game. If it keeps going like this, I swear to God. How far have we got to Arizona? probably going to have to call the stream there if it keeps doing this. I really don't want to do that though. 262 miles. Let's see if it kind of levels out in the countryside. That is really annoying though. I was looking forward to this stream. 
Can I just say though, look at the graphics, that is so nice over there. I, I haven't got any ENVs in, which is like a graphics enhancer. Really? Oh, come on game. Any time of day would be nice. Yeah, I haven't got any ENVs in, but just stop this game to really nice looking. I do want to get a graphics enhancer all over the road again. <laughs> I probably shouldn't drive an outside view. Right, where are we now? We're about to discover this town. I assume it's a town. It looks like a town. There's a way station. Perhaps it's just a really big um, truck stop. I was about to say petrol station then. <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, I know you've seen Jeff Fabiano. That is such a Jeff saying. It seems legit. I love the way I'm talking about a different streamer in my own stream. That's fantastic. Um, AJ, if you want, I do have other videos on other games without the uh, really annoying lag. If you type in, because I've set up my nightbot, if you type in the chat, uh, exclamation mark command, you can see all my commands if you want to have a play about. And if you want to check out my YouTube channel as well, just type in exclamation mark YouTube and our very friendly nightbot will send you a link to that. Not like I'm advertising my channel or anything. <laughs> but it would be greatly appreciated. God, it's really nice, especially at sunset. I've got to say, sunset and sunrise are the best parts of the day, the best time in the day. I used to work nights, so it'd, be, it'd always be sunset as I was driving to work, and it would be sunrise as I was get going home, or like you look out the bay doors of the warehouse, and because it faced east, you would see the sun, uh, coming through the doors and yeah it was blinding but my god the, the view you get especially because my warehouse is in the middle of nowhere you just get this sun rising up over the main things it was such a nice view I honestly believe sunset and sunrise are the best parts of the day dusk and dawn right I really need to start paying attention to my speed so what I'm going to do I don't want to brake too hard cruise control at 75 we're probably going to pick up speed down this hill Uh, only a little bit. What's this truck next to us? Is that a real company, Bushnell? It sounds like a real company, and that would, that logo seemed too well done to be part of SCS's thing. I'll keep getting the rumble strip. Bit of nighttime driving, which is a problem because I can't remember where I'm at my headlight button. It's not day. Yes, it is day. Thank God. Headlights now on. It is getting to that time of day. The freezes do seem to be a lot less common now. I think it's just my hard drive was trying to load stuff in, but it couldn't. It's a good job my RAM's there. With, with really bad RAM, but honestly, this game, any game would be unplayable. My little cousin, <laughs> his dad, basically he asked his dad for a proper computer instead of a laptop, so his dad goes, yeah, I'll get you the best gaming PC out there. He spent £200. That's obviously not enough for a good gaming PC. And um, what he basically got is, you know those really terrible computers you get in school? Yeah, he got one of them. And the RAM, uh, he, he asked me, he goes, Nick, why is my computer so slow? He's only like 11. Sorry, I'm doing something on my other TV. He's only like 11, so he did, doesn't know anything. He goes, Nick, why is my computer so slow? So I went up and have a look. Ooh, there's a random event there. A truck getting pulled over. That's awesome. That's something they added in uh, 1.29. That's the first random event I've seen. Yeah, he goes, Nick, why is my computer so slow? So I had a look at his specs. He has 0 0.16 uh, megabytes of RAM. Like, his computer c can't even open a Word document without being absolutely crap out. We've discovered Gallup. Gallup discovered. I've never even heard of Gallup, I've got to be fair. Probably has something to do with there used to be a lot of horses or something. I don't know, just a guess. We're in a city though, so there might be a few more lag spikes. It is a shame, I can't wait for my new hard drive. It's command, not command, AJ. And thanks for subscribing to me, mate. I do appreciate it. Ah, I got a speed in the fence. Son of a bitch. What is the speed in the fence? It's 75! Ah, oh, go screw yourself. Seriously. 
but yeah, it's uh, exclamation mark commands with an S on the end. There you go, perfect. Oh, come on. Right, we're leaving the town now, so this hopefully should clear up. I'm sorry about this, guys. There's not really much I could do. I ran out of space on my primary hard drives. And even if I were to make some space and install this on there, like, the chance of me getting the stream up today to do it again, it's zero to... Like, it's just zero. It's not happening. I will do it for next stream, though. Definitely. It is very annoying, though. It's not just annoying you guys, I'm sure. It's annoying me as well, so... I will definitely get it sorted for the next stream. I'll have to remember to reinstall it on a different hard drive. We are really struggling. We were really struggling at that hill. We're now entering Arizona, which is definitely a good thing. I'm not looking forward to driving in California because the speed limits are like 50 on every road. Which, yeah, it's not good. That Chevrolet can't be part of the uh, normal game. That's got to be one of Jazzy, uh, Jazzy Cat's mods. I do have his classic cars mod in, so you might see like El Caminos and Corvettes driving around, which is cool. Probably should have checked my mirror then. We're going 80. I really don't want another speeding ticket. Best cruise control at 73. That's. I usually go two under just to be sure. Way station, which I'm sure we can bypass. Right, 72. And. Go on, 73. There you go. This truck's definitely not as fast as the one I was just driving a minute ago. That is for sure. Um, I'm going to move over before this car comes. To be fair, considering I've been paying attention to like the two monitors and talking, which takes a lot more brain power than you would imagine, I think I've done quite well with my driving. I don't think it's been that terrible. The, the nights are quite dark, isn't they? Then, I, I suppose in the middle of nowhere it would be this dark. So, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I do love all these trucks I drive past with the illuminated um, side lights and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Not all of them, but some of them. I think it is pretty cool. I just got it on cruise control. Basically, all I need to do now is steer, <laughs> which isn't difficult. So, how far have we got left? 106 miles, we're about halfway there. Oh, come on lag, please. I'm asking you very nicely. I really don't want to start getting frustrated with it. Nice little jeep, a uh, jeep, jeep over there. And there is, that's a Ford Explorer up there on the right, I believe. Is that a police car or just a normal civilian one? It appears to be civilian. Yeah, that's a civilian one. Prime Inc. Is that meant to be like a rip-off of, of Amazon's trailer? Amazon Prime? No idea. It's hard to tell sometimes, because SCS, fair play to them, they do a very good job of the um, company in-game. So it can actually be difficult to tell if a truck is part of the game or is part of a mod and is a real company. Like, well, obviously, if it's a well-known brand like Coca-Cola, it's like, yeah, that's probably not in the real game. But like this here, what's this? Kind of hard to tell because the truck's going I can't see that. Like that bus, it's hard to tell if that's a real bus company. I don't think it is. No, I think that's meant to be a rip-off of Greyhound. fuel station, yeah. Ooh, I should probably check the fuel level. Uh, we're okay. Fatigue, uh, probably should have stopped for sleep, but I don't know. Probably the next place I see I'm going to stop for a rest. Come on, computer. You can do it. It's not the computer that's the annoying thing, it's the hard drive. So irritated. 
it. I am going to have to get that sorted, definitely. There is quite a big difference, mind in it, between like American trucks and the rest of the world. Like the rest of the world, the cab is over the engine. Well, I know they have trucks like that in America, but most of them have got these long noses on them, like the bonnets, the hoods. I'm not sure which I prefer. I think the American trucks are better looking, although saying that, Scania's are quite nice looking trucks as well. But I think European and like the rest of the world, their trucks seem to be more practical because I'm pretty sure they'd have a smaller turning radius which in the normal world wouldn't really matter but in like a really tight yard like a small company's yard I'm pretty sure a, a tight turning radius would be extremely useful so I'm not I don't know if I prefer American trucks or British trucks like European trucks I do like my Scania's I gotta be fair Scania's are good trucks then equally, I bet these American trucks are a lot more comfortable. Like, I'm pretty sure you could just sit there all day in a, in a uh, Kenworth or a Peterbilt and not complain that your legs are hurting. They're probably pretty damn comfortable. That truck slowed down then sped up then, that's really irritating. God, the desert at night, you wouldn't want to get stranded, would you? If you were stranded, of course, then the danger is you get to a highway, put your thumb up to stop someone and hitchhike, and they turn out to be the next John Wayne Gacy, so that's not exactly a good situation to get around. I bet there's a lot of wild animals out there as well, like naked lions, coyotes, snakes. Do they have scorpions in New Mexico? I have no idea. It's not something I've ever really needed to find out the answer to either. I bet they do have scorpions and stuff like that though. And of course, the biggest danger, you could get hit in the nuts by a tumbleweed. That would hurt. This truck does not sound good. It is really struggling. And we're in uh, gear 18, so it's not that I need to change out. It's just really struggling up this hill. You can do it. 64, right, starting to speed up now. I'm assuming we're coming up to the bridge. Aragons. Uh, that's not something we can visit, unfortunately. Aragons. I think that's meant to be Aaron's, but they spelled it wrong. Ooh, FedEx, that's obviously part of a mod because they wouldn't have. FedEx truck in here. Oh, sugar. I'm going to have to floor it, cut off that truck, and then brake hard. Sorry. Sorry, truck. Oh, God. Am I going to start? Yep. Just. Ah, it's a struggle. Come on. Go. Ag, obviously. Jesus Christ. Note to self. Move games to different hard drive. I could probably fit this game on my SSD. Ooh, level crossing. We've got a train coming. Certainly the highlight of the stream. Uh, two. Is it two? Yes, yeah, two. We've got a truck. A uh, train, even. I do have a mod to make them longer, but obviously it didn't apply there. That was weird. Come on, go. Go. Good. I was a little bit disappointed with that, i got to be honest. I thought the uh, train would be a lot longer than it was. Oh, I keep forgetting about the right on red rule. We don't have anything like that in the UK. Right on red means uh, you get a ticket. Well, it'd be left on red because we drive on the other side of the road. But we don't have anything like that. And it does make sense. Like, the only time you can really do it is sometimes junctions will have dedicated lanes, like, that cut the corner, and you can go through there. But other than that, if you go through red light, like, for any circumstance, the only time you're allowed through red light is if you're at a junction and an emergency vehicle, like an ambulance, pulls behind you, and it can't get through, then you are allowed to slowly creep through red light to let it pass. 
other than that, no ticket. And that is something I would like to see in the UK. I think that would be pretty cool. It'd probably uh, mean less to uh, congestion. My truck has gone silent all of a sudden. Let me try stopping and... Okay, that's not right. I think I've broken my audio. There we go. That was weird. The truck was silent for a minute. <coughs> Sorry, I keep uh, clearing my throat. I've... I always seem to have um, some kind of throat problem when I try and stream. I do have asthma, so that doesn't really help, and I did smoke for 10 years, so that also didn't help. I've quit now, though. Two years in Jan on January 12th at 4pm. Yeah, I am actually keeping track of that. Definitely, though, people who smoke and go, ah, I don't need to quit, I like smoking. Honestly. I thought it was going to be difficult, but after the first two weeks, it was the best thing I've ever done. Like, so enough, people keep offering me fags, my friends, like cigarettes, fags is what they call them in the UK. And every time, I was like, no. And now I've just completely lost the urge for it. I don't want to smoke anymore. I'm so glad I gave up. So if anyone out there smokes, honestly, give up. It's the best thing you'll ever do. You better not change, right? This is very scenic. This is like something you'd see in Switzerland or like remote Canada. I know they're very different places. <laughs> One's in the middle of Europe, the other's in Antarctica basically. Well, in Antarctic. Right, here comes our destination, so let's see my, if my reversing skills are getting any better. Right, I believe it's on the right here. Just come to a nice steady start. Side of the road to straighten out. Oop. You're gonna load? That's not really very useful doing that. There you go. Where do you need it? Right by there. I can do that. Over there. Ah, oh, there's a load of junk in the middle. Right, let me pull in first and then I'll assess what I need to do. This is going to be a tricky one. Uh, no, stop. Okay, we're on some kind of slope, I assume. Right, so we are going over there. How am I going to do that? Right, I've got a plan. Let's see if I can roll it around this corner without hitting these blocks. I doubt it. Why am I suddenly reversing? Okay. Go that way. I'm going to try and go around these... Uh, skips and stuff in the middle. It's probably going to work out badly for me. Ooh, that's close. I'm going to take as wide as I can and then hopefully my truck will be relatively straight and I can just back in. I'm not skipping. I'm determined not to skip anywhere. This is extremely tight though. I think I can do this. I just have to utilise what is there. It must be possible, it wouldn't break the yard if it wasn't possible. should do this from inside view of it if you realistic, but honestly not happy. Okay, the audio is a little bit screwed. For some reason I can still hear the reverse of lights.
I've just hit something. No. Slow as possible. I'm not very good at driving traps, I think it's time to admit that. I thought it was going to be close to right? it. Oh, come on, not a good time, not a good time to freeze. Yeah, so I think I'm doing quite well. Yeah. It's not quite bad enough, but I think I should accept it. Really? Yeah. Boom! Damn, I'm I'm quite proud of that actually. 340 miles, 5 hours 43 minutes. We used 71.4 gallons of fuel. We've leveled up to level ah nearly level three. I'm still a newbie. And uh, we got $7,898 base. Uh, proficiency bonus at 75 and a long distance delivery bonus at 377. That's 8,350 in total. And we got 725 XP. I think we did really well there, guys. That was actually pretty damn good. I'm proud of that. Right, what are we going to use our bonus on? Uh, fuel economy, maybe? No, that's that fuel's so cheap that it doesn't really matter. I was going for the long distance thing. I want to be a long distance trucker more than anything else. But fragile and high value cargo are both on the table. Um, anyone in the chat any, have any suggestions? I'll see if you guys want me to spend it on anything or wh whether you would rather me uh, choose myself. No. Um, okay then. I'm gonna choose high value cargo. What will that enable? High value job offers unlocked. Plus five high reward for high value delivery. Plus eighteen percent experience bonus for high value delivery. What will rank two unlock here? Deliveries up to six hundred and fifty miles. There's a lot of money in long deliveries. Ten percent higher reward for. Delivery distances longer than 400 miles. And fragile cargo. Transportation of fragile goods unlocked. 5% higher reward for delivering a fragile cargo. 22% experience bonus for delivering a fragile cargo. Hmm. I'm going to go for... God, it's actually one of the toughest decisions of my life. <laughs> um, that 22% experience. I could also go for a hazardous cargo. No, I'm going to go for long distance too. And then I'm going to get fragile or high value. Anyway, guys, that's going to call it for today. I think we did quite well. And I do apologise, as I said, for all the lag and the stops we was having. It's just really irritating me as well as you guys. But thanks for watching regardless of that. I will make sure to fix that before the next stream or video, whatever I decide to do next. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.